Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On and another edition of 7 o'clock Spurs for you on Friday. First bit of news today is that Hugo Lloris has won a top award. He has been voted the best goalkeeper in the league by the fans. That is according to TalkSport today. And if you ask me, that's completely correct. Now, I know what you're thinking. Some of you are thinking David De Gea is kind of widely known as the best goalkeeper in the league. And I think David De Gea is a top class keeper. However, yes, he's a brilliant shot stopper. And yes, he commands his box well. But I also think Hugo does those things. But Hugo brings in an extra element, which is his ability to come off his line quickly, make split second decisions that help our defence out incredibly. Even in the last game uh, against Chelsea, nil-nil, there are a couple of occasions where they broke our back line and looked like they were coming through with a, with a slide rule ball. And Hugo came out quickly and knocked it out into Rose Z. That is what Hugo brings. He is the modern keeper, a la Manuel Neuer. And I think he's kind of up there in the top five keepers in the world. Let us know where you think he sits on that list in the comments section below. But have to say, well done, Hugo, on winning that award. To be voted by uh, the top of something by the fans is as good as it gets, if you ask me. Second bit of news today. Tony Pulis, in readiness for our game at West Bromwich Albion this year, has stoked the fire a little bit by saying that Saido Berahino has not been as good for him this season as he was last season. To be honest, the stats do back that up. He's only scored three goals for them so far this season, whereas last year he scored 20 in all competitions for West Brom. Hence Spurs being interested in, in him in the first place, I would have thought. This, to me, strikes of mind games. Obviously, we're at the Hawthorns tomorrow. He's probably going to start Berahino knowing that Berahino's going to want to impress the club that was so interested in him. And by saying he's not as good as he was last year, he knows that he's going to try and get a reaction from Berahino tomorrow. I'm desperate that Berahino doesn't start because it feels like if he does, he'll probably score against us. And that's the kind of thing that would happen to us. But... Who knows? Clever management from Pulis, though, I reckon. What do you guys think? Uh, finally today, a quote from Poch about the January transfer window. He says he will be looking for a striker. He did say um, that uh, he recognises that Sonny, uh, Nasser Chadley and Clinton and G aren't natural strikers. He says, maybe it's true. I recognise they're not a specific striker, so maybe we work to try to find such a player we can add in the next transfer window or in the summer to try and help the team. Now, that brings us back to Berahino, of course, doesn't it? He was, uh, Pochettino was after him in uh, the summer. Levy didn't pull out the required uh, deal to entice Jeremy Peace, the West Brom chairman, into it. But to me, what the reason he went for Berahino is not just because he's a striker, he can play up top on his own, but he can also play in those three behind the striker. And I think that's what Pochettino is looking for. Uh, the kind of player who can play in all of those positions. Because Kane, realistically, when fit, he's going to play every single game apart from maybe the odd Europa game. But even that, we're going into the knockout stages now. So Kane will probably play every game. So to try and find a striker who can fit that bill, very difficult indeed. Let us know who you think can fit that bill in the comments section below, guys, because to be honest, I'm really not that sure. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs, and have a great weekend. In goal, Hugo Lloris. Right back, Carl Walker. Centre half, it has to be Toby Alderweireld and Jan Vertonghen. Left